Okay, now we're gonna do it. Now you gotta just do it, yellow. Whoa! Whoa! The rock got you. 20 steps in. We just went swimming at Muir Rock because it's 90 degrees out and now we're starting our five day hike on the Ray Lakes Loop. Four nights and now we're hiking six and a half miles to our first campsite. And here we go. We've done a quick first two miles, perfectly flat and it's really hot still, so we're stopping for water before we start our climb and we got four and a half miles before our first campsite. Vibes are high, we're sweating, and it's super fun. Yeah. We just filled up our water, probably got at least eight mosquito bites. They're out here. We're probably gonna see a lot more of them during our time out, but now we climb. It's hot. Oh. <laughs> we are Mosquito. We are in Paradise Valley. We passed Lower Paradise, and you can't camp there, you gotta get to Middle Paradise, so. We're just cruising along the river, soon to find a campsite. And uh, it's so quiet and so peaceful. The river's just cruising real slow, a bunch of trout in them. And uh, hopefully we can find a campsite with a little fire ring, make a fire keep the mosquitoes off, and have a good time. Camp is found. Camp fashion is turned on. Switched on, baby. The mosquitoes are no joke. Dee's heavily sheltered. <laughs> and, uh, Where's your fish friend? He's right here. Oh my gosh. Danica made a fish friend. Oh my, look, this is my foot. And he's right there. I think he's gonna eat my foot. He's hungry. He's so hungry. We've made a fire, we've got our camp going. We went swimming, we rinsed off a little bit. We've got dinner going. I've got couscous with dehydrated peas, carrots, onions, and I'm adding some chicken in. What you got, Dee? I've got a breakfast skillet. Breakfast it's skillet? quite watery. Jay already ate couscous? Who's cruising tuna? We were just chilling here and that deer walked right past our campsite, just cruising down the trail. Today was so much fun. We jumped off the rock. We hiked along the river. We saw waterfalls. We saw a deer. To 
be cruising along the river all day. Tons of cool views. You look back and you see the, the canyon behind you. Epic views. And now we just get to settle down and eat some food and go to sleep. Good morning. We woke up this morning to the sound of sprinkles hitting our tent. We didn't have our rain fly on last night because it was really clear and we got to watch the stars. And now it's kind of raining a little bit. So we just made some coffee. I've already dug a hole. Jacob's had breakfast, he's packing up. Dee's hiding from the rain. And uh, we're gonna eat some food and probably get going today. We'll see what happens with the weather. Stay tuned. Boom! We're up and running. It's nine o'clock. We've got another short day. We're gonna do probably seven miles. Uh, in a couple miles, we'll get to a bridge that got washed out so we get to fjord the river. And then we're just gonna climb until we get to Woods Creek Bridge. We'll probably camp there unless we're feeling extraordinarily strong and fit. Then we'll keep going. Other than that, I hope we get some fishing in. Probably go swimming. And uh, it's an overcast, kind of drizzly day, so it's a little bit cooler. And that's pretty cool. We're a little sore, we feel good, but we're super happy. And excited to get going. See ya. Yeah, most yeah. people showed up at like 8.30 or 9 o'clock. Yeah, they were out by... Like... Oh, I'm going to get the rest of the day off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Rain's let up a little bit. We're probably a mile, maybe even less, to our campground, so we're really excited to get there. It's just been pretty beautiful and stunning, but uh, hard to relax because it's raining, it's cold, you stop walking, you get cold, mosquitoes start landing on you, so you can't really just plop down and take a break, but at least you know You'll get to camp, you can put your tent up and take your shelter, and that's always there for you by the end of the day. So, we'll be getting to camp soon, setting up, relaxing, maybe napping, and I'm really hoping to get some fishing in today, so we'll see what happens. Here we go, baby. Da -da 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 -da! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> it's really bouncy. Whoa! <laughs> She's a scaredy. It feels like you're like on the moon. Sun's out, guns out! Sun's out, guns out! My guy! It's 7.37 and we're in our tent, me and Dee. Jay's in his tent. We got chased in by uh, thunder and lightning and rain, which is crazy because we got to our campsite and the sun came out and we were tanning and laying out, no mosquitoes. It was incredible. We went down to the water, went swimming, I went fishing, caught a couple of fish came back, we made a fire, and made dinner. It was the best day ever. And then the storm came in, and this is just the Sierras, that's how it works. So, 
we're just gonna wait this out and see if it passes. Maybe we'll go back outside. Otherwise, this might be it for the night. We'll see. It's a hot, beautifully slow morning out here. It's about 9.30 now. You know, we're never in any real rush. It's nice to be able to take it slow and not feel hurried. Dee's in the back somewhere taking video of some woodpeckers in a tree. And uh, it's just so cool to be back on the John Muir Trail. And uh, it's just wild to think that we were here seven years ago. The three of us, uh, Danica, Jacob, and I both started. And then after a week, Danica had to bail out with injury. But then Jacob and I kept going another two weeks to the finish. We even shared a tent. And uh, it's just really reminiscent to be back here. So I'm really excited to spend another two days on the JMT. And uh, it's just crazy that the three of us are back here after seven years. And we're still best friends, even though a lot has changed. And me and Danica are married now. and so many big things going on but we're still out here and just so happy to be here boom we are up and running <laughs> we're going to ray lakes today it's an absolute ripper of a day it's going to be our shortest hike so far it's only like six miles but just like the past couple days we'll be climbing a lot so a couple thousand feet up higher we'll be getting up over ten thousand feet and hopefully this weather holds and should be a wonderful time. Lunchy, lunchy, lunchy time. It's the right time to make lunchy. Your Frito Sour Patch Kids. Well, we're back in the tent. A uh, similar sight to just the other day, but we made it to Ray Lakes, and it was kind of partly cloudy, some big ominous things coming through. So we got our tent set up, got some water, and then we heard thunder and started sprinkling, so now it's just raining. So we were gonna take a nap anyways, so we're gonna do that, maybe read, hang out. It's hailing. I yeah. guess it's, oh, it is hailing. Get out of my throat. <laughs> We've got hail, so we're going to lay low. I might give myself a wet white bath, and maybe it'll clear up in a little bit. We'll see. We're out. I've been out for like an hour, and we've just been getting these little waves of sunshine, and it comes out, and it's so warm. But when it's not out, it's cold. I got all my layers on. We're like 10,600 feet, in the middle of Ray Lake. And uh, at least it's not raining or hailing anymore. And uh, I'm really hoping it just clears up so I can just bathe in the sun. But until then, I got them out here and Jay's trying to do some fishing. So we're gonna make the best of it. Jay on the first Cass snags a trout. What do we got? Ooh, she's pretty.
And just like that, it's cleared up. Unbelievable. It can just be so brutal out here and flip to perfect. And you just gotta be here and you just gotta be ready. So we spent the evening outside, made dinner, hung out. We saw deer playing in the meadow. Two deer chasing each other, super cool. And we're gonna go to sleep soon. We're gonna wake up early tomorrow because we gotta go up and over Glen Pass. Hopefully the weather's good so we can get over safely. See how it goes. Boom! It's 6.30 in the morning. We got up nice and early. Uh, we got nothing but blue skies, which uh, you can't really see. But perfect weather. We're going up and over Glen Pass today, so we wanted to make sure it wasn't storming for that. And so we got a huge climb this morning, followed by epic views at the top, hopefully make some coffee. And then it's nothing but downhill after that, so we'll see how that goes. We are officially entering another planet. We're gonna switch back, switch back, switch back, switch back, switch back, ba, 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 ba. and then we're gonna cross all the way over to the top, go through that snow field. And then we're there. It's a real brain tickler out here. My head is thumping. Oh, we just go slow. In the tunnel. Looking back. Looking forward. Woo. This video. <laughs> Oops. Don't move. Stop wiggling. Oh. Is there a pin now? You gotta do the best. Of my friend. Of my friend. Is it a video or a picture? I'm behind you. No, it's okay. You? Just stopped for lunch. We're going downhill and it feels so good and everybody's super happy. And uh, now we're just cruising down the canyon. It's all downhill. We'll camp one more night and we're just making our way back to Road's End, which we uh, decided it's actually Road's Beginning from our perspective. Passing a lot of PCT hikers, it's super cool. They all think Jacob is also hiking the PCT but going the other direction. So he's pretty pumped. And uh, Dee thinks she can hike forever now, so vibes are high. Charlotte Lake? Where are we going? Yeah, we're going to Charlotte Lake and then we're going to go Charlotte Lake? to the other lake after that. The other lake after that. <laughs> Get out of my snow. <laughs> That's it, I guess. There's almost a mutiny at hand here. I went the wrong way. I'm the only person with navigation, so I make one poor decision and everyone freaking loses it. Anyways, we know where to go now, so it's all good. I'm in a meadow!
Mãe, <risos> velho! This girl is blessed! Get out of my smile! We just had the most pristine, golden, beautiful, heavenly soak in the river right near the campsite that we found. And it was just what we needed so bad. We did about 10 miles today and we were really, really sore after going downhill for so long. And now I'm just collecting firewood. But uh, a couple clouds came over so we got out of the water. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. It could storm, could not. Um, but either way, we're just feeling really good and relaxed now. And we'll start our evening. Boom! We're back in the tent. Not because it's raining, but because there's threat of rain and there's a lot of rolling thunder coming through and we're kind of just due for a nap anyways. We've done about ten and a half miles today and dare I say, was it a perfect day? I think so. We got up super early, crack of dawn, and got hiking really quick. And we left Ray Lakes and it was just so cool cruising through the lakes, frosty meadows, still water, mountain reflections, sun was kissing all the walls. And we started climbing. And it wasn't as difficult as I thought it was going to be, but our heads were definitely pounding from the elevation. And we got to the top, had a couple snow crossings, but just really tiny ones. And when we got up there, it was wonderful. We probably spent like half an hour up there. We made iced coffees and chatted with other people, hung out, had some snacks. And then we started our big descent down. And that was really cool because we went from this world of rocks and kind of spacey, Marsy feel, and then we dropped down back to the trees and the tree line. And then we started seeing running water trickling and then more trees and forest and streams and waterfalls and rivers and rushing water and plants exploding everywhere. It got really hot. We saw everything. And just by the time we we're about to fall apart and break down, we found our cool little campsite right next to this gentle shallow creek. We set up our tents and then we just went and we sat down and soaked in the creek. And that was the best reward. And that's why it was a perfect day. We ate a lot of food, we collected firewood, and we might go back out there, make a fire, but we might not. It's fine. I think I killed my wife, but it's all good. <laughs> and that's the best day ever. Like, you guys want me to take gold? Yeah. Like, no. <laughs> you gotta get up. Just take your 7.30. Yeah. 10 miles. Back to the car. Gonna bang it out. Get a burger and a beer. Bye. We're back on that same old dusty road that we started on so long ago. It's dry. It's so dry. We've got like a mile left to go and we're gonna go swimming. Overall, I'd give this trail 10 out of 10. 
it really is magnificent, fantastic. There were highs and lows, ups and downs. Way too many mosquito bites. But man, just beautiful country. That's all I gotta say about that. I was gonna do it.